Uh, Chris Watts, W A T T S. What's going on right now around your house? Right now, it's you got K nine units, the sheriff's department. Everybody's like they're they're doing their best right now to figure out like if they can get a scent, see where they went. If they went on foot, they went in a car, or they went somewhere. And right now it's just like they've they've been on point. They're going through the house trying to get a scent, and hopefully they can pick something up to where it's it's going to lead to something. What happened? Like, you know, tell me, tell me what's I she like she came home from the airport 2 a.m. and I left around 5:15. She was still here, and like about 12:10 in that afternoon, her friend Nicole showed up at the door. Like I had texted Shannon a few times that day, called her, say you know. But she never got back to me, but she wasn't getting back to any of her people as well. And that's what really concerned a lot of people is like, if she's not getting back to her, like if she doesn't get back to me, that's fine. Like she gets busy during the day, but she didn't get back to her people, which was very concerning. And Nicole called me when she was at the door and that's when I came home and then walked in the house and nothing was vanished. Nothing was here. I mean, she wasn't, she wasn't here. The kids weren't here. Nope, nobody was here. What's your wife's name? Shanann. S H A N A N N. What's your what's your kids? Bella and Celeste. And Celeste. Uh C E L E S T E. How old are you? How old are you four and Bella's four, Celeste is three. And, and so how many times did you try calling her? I called her three times, texted her about three times just to say, you know, what's going on? Like I did I because after after the after I called her and texted her once, it was like I, Maybe she was just busy, like she just got back, you know, like everybody's probably calling her from her trip. She just got back from Arizona and I figured just she was just busy. But when her friend showed up, that's what it was like. It, it registered like, all right, this isn't right. Do you think she just took off? Do you think? I, I mean, right now, I don't even want to just like throw anything out there. Like, I hope that she's somewhere safe right now and with the kids. But I mean, could she have been, could she have just taken off? I don't know, but if somebody has her and they're not safe, like, I want them back now. Like, that, that, that's what's in my head. Like, if they're safe right now, they're going to come back. But if they're not safe right now, that's what, that's the not knowing part. Like, if they're not safe, I, I, last night I was, I had every light in the house on. I was hoping that I would just get, just ran over by the kids running in the door and just like barrel rushing me, but it didn't happen. And it was just a traumatic night trying to be here. I'm going to ask some kind of tough questions about your relationship with your kids. I mean, yeah, my, my kids are my life. I mean, those those smiles light up my life. And it's like, I mean, last night, like, during, like, at, you know, when they usually eat dinner, it was just like, I miss them. Like, I mean, I miss telling them, hey, you got to eat that or you're not going to get your dessert, you know, and just like, you're not going to get your snack after. I miss that. Like, I, I miss them, you know, cuddle up on their couches. They have like a Minnie Mouse couch and a Sophia couch that they cuddle up on and watch, you know, Bubble Guppies or something. And it was just like, you know, I, I, I was, it was tearing, tearing me apart last night and I needed that. I needed that last night. And for that, for nobody to be here last night and to go into their rooms and not, and know that I wasn't going to turn the rain machines on. And I know that I wasn't going to turn their monitor on. No, I wasn't going to kiss them to bed tonight. It was, it, it was, I, I, that's why last night was just horrible. I couldn't do it. it. I just, I just want, I want everybody to just come home. Like wherever they're at, come home. That's what I want. Where was she gone for? Um, she was, she, she was on, um, she came back Sunday, you said that to you at night. Yeah, because her, her flight got delayed from Arizona because of like other storms around the, the nation. So yeah. she's supposed to get home like 11. She got home at like 148. She got in bed about two. What was, what was she going for, like family trip? Or like it was a Thrive Direct Sales. Uh, it was a local event that was down there between a bunch of leaders in, in the company. And that night, that day she was back, I mean. I, le I left work for work early that morning, like 5.15, 5.30. So like she, Barely, let me. She barely got, barely got into bed, pretty much. And, and, you know, this might be a tough question, but did, did you guys get into an argument before she left? Or it wasn't, it wasn't like an argument. We had an emotional conversation, but I'll leave it at that. But it's, I just want them back. <laughs>
I just I just want them to come back. And if if they're not safe right now, that's what's that's what's tearing me apart. Because if they are safe, they're coming back. But if they're not, this 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 has got to stop. Like somebody has to come forward. You spoke to her family, like her parents. Yeah, I've, I've, they've been in constant contact, like every hour. I mean, it's I mean everybody back in North Carolina and the East Coast. I mean, from Maine to Florida. What is her parents saying? You, like, they're just like like if they need to get on a flight just let them know because i mean they don't they, they feel helpless right now because they, they're on the opposite side of the country i mean this colorado is i mean you can't just drive around and look i mean it's just like you wouldn't really know what you're looking for that's what the cops pretty much told me that, that first day i was like i want to get out and drive around this you wouldn't know what to look for um last couple questions uh what is what is law enforcement what have the police or the sheriffs or your neighbors is anybody what is what's, what's police saying to you right now this is what they're doing right now is with the canines in the sense i think this is the biggest thing this is the biggest thing they've done so far because yesterday they all the federal police department did all the searching of the house and try to gather whatever information they could and with the detectives officers and sergeants and today it's all, i mean obviously with all the activity that's around it's 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 there's a lot going on around here, and I really hope that all of this can lead to something positive. What did um, your neighbors? Did they see anything? Did you make sense? No, like we've we've uh, the uh, police department went door to door asking like cameras and everything, just like nothing. And my last question, if you have any of those, real crude stuff. But my last question: If your wife can see this, if she if she can watch this, what would you do? What would you like to tell your wife and your kids? Shanan, Bella, Celeste, if you're out there, just, just just come back. Like if somebody has her, just please bring her back. I need to see everybody. I need to see everybody again. This house is not complete with without anybody here. Please bring her back. That's it. That's it. I can take that mic off you.